Love it or hate it, the fact of the matter is that Jake Paul and Andrew Tate live in headlines. These two are some of the most popular names circling around at the moment. Though Andrew Tate has been essentially kicked off of the internet for saying some not so rad things, there's a large group of people behind him supporting what he says and does. Of that group is Jake Paul to some degree. Jake said that Tate doesn't deserve the harsh bans that he received despite Tate previously disparaging Paul. The two have recently come face to face in a stare down that was posted on the internet and of course blew up. Paul captioned this clip simply with the word negotiations. Andrew Tate compiled a 76-9 kickboxing record for himself and a less impressive 4-3 boxing record. Jake Paul is a 6-0 boxer, most recently silencing the doubters once again after he was about to defeat MMA legend and middleweight GOAT Anderson Silva. The masses said that he wouldn't dare to challenge the spider and now that he's defeated him, Paul is finally getting some credit. Just kidding, now fans are saying that he beat up a 47 year old. Who should be next for Jake Paul? A viable option for the problem child is one Andrew Tate. Here's how the MMA community has reacted to this. Sugar Sean O'Malley took to his YouTube page to share his thoughts. Andrew Tate, Jake Paul, this morning. I'm sure you guys saw it. A little face off, came out of left field. It came out of left field. No idea, I didn't hear anything. I wonder, is that what's next for Jake or was it for views? Clicks. It's gonna go viral. Sugar Sean's gonna make a YouTube video about it. Is that what's next? Risky fight I'd say for Jake. Sean O'Malley knows both Paul and Tate, so he did have a hard time sharing his feelings on this potential bout. However, he thinks that Paul would get the job done with a finish. He added, There's always a puncher's chance. Andrew's a big dude. Experience. I would put money on Jake for sure. Jake would be a huge favorite, I would assume. I love Andrew, but he hasn't been grinding like Jake has been, and it matters what you've been doing the last few years. The last F in six months. Jake's been in the gym, grinding. Andrew Tate's been hitting podcasts, doing his thing, making money. So it's obvious that Suga isn't entirely sure. He even spoke more about how things could favor Andrew Tate. If this fight is in 6 months, Jake is going to improve a lot more, but it will also give Andrew the chance to get back into the rhythm of things and it would make it more interesting. The further out it is, the more interesting it gets. If they do this in a couple months, Jake. I would take Jake hands down. They do it in 4 months, I still take Jake. They do it in a year, then it's different. It's a little different ball game. Sean O'Malley was quick to give his thoughts and you can bet that Uncle Chael is going to throw his opinion in the mix too. When you have Jake, he's telling us that he wants to be a boxer, but he's going to go and fight a former kickboxer. It's awesome, it's entertaining, it's exciting, but it's hard to serve that, hey, I want to be a boxer, when he's going and doing this. Sonnen is more than just an expert when it comes to fighting, but he's quite the aficionado when it comes to the business side of things. Callouts, matchmaking, the business of it all. These are all instruments that Sonnen was playing perfectly when he was an active fighter. With that being said, he admits that he doesn't see this fight playing out at all. I was very surprised to see Paul and Tate come face to face. I was very surprised. I was very surprised that Tate was in America and agreed to do this and did the face off. They're telling us something isn't done. I'll also tell you it surprised me because it was Logan who two weeks ago went on a massive platform and aired his grievance with Andrew Tate. It was Logan that wanted that fight. Do you think it'll be Jake or Logan that takes on Andrew Tate? Which match are you more interested in seeing? Sound off down below. Things did seem to sway more towards Paul taking the Tate fight as the two were once again face to face.